Now this is a story all about how John Nash's whole world got turned upside down. And I'd like to take a minute, just sit right there. I'll tell you all about the schizophrenic with gray hair. In West Virginia, born in 1928, Nash Sr. and Virginia by whom he was raised. Little John must have not been very cool cause he was pretty solitary alone at school. In a couple of years he got a full scholarship and realized that mathematics was his bitch. He proved one little problem his professor said, this man is a genius but he ain't right in the head. Nash got his doctorate from the university and then taught at Prince before he went on his way to MIT where he met his wife Alicia and picked up habits from bipolar teachers. Behavior changes, yo this is bad, thinking others hid hidden motives, what's up with Nash? Search for secret messages a part of his delusions? Shit, this might lead to a bad conclusion. The disease got worse, treatment came into play, his wife got him committed to treatment every day. The solution was quite awful, it messed with his head, he really should have got antipsychotic meds instead. Kids have bad hallucinations and they have delusions starting at later ages. Nash can't be catatonic, he moves just fine. I mean, he thought aliens were talking through the New York Times. A correct diagnosis that what you want to hear will buy the DSM, he must have positive symptoms for years. He couldn't socialize, didn't have any other disorders, a diagnosis of paranoid schizophrenia is in order. We would argue that this diagnosis is right. He should receive meds and therapy to be aight. And after years of treatment, he won a Nobel Prize. Schizophrenia couldn't ruin Nash's beautiful mind. I've always believed in numbers, in the equations and logics that lead to reason. But after a lifetime of such pursuits, I ask, what truly is logic? Who decides reason? My quest has taken me through the physical, the metaphysical, the delusional, <laughs>